Um, we might as well continue with Martin's idea, uh, which is to uh, use this structure for sound, for making sounds, but also a group of us stand this side, where about where he is with the camera and scream this way. Martin will set up a camera and a recorder here and this is a kind of test of this structure for its protection against sound. Clearly that's an absurd idea but that's the point. We have two options you know to scream against the mind just some some uh, really like indifferent screaming or really to use some, you know, expression of blame, you know, <laughs> so... <laughs> so we are in the center of the village now. That's ridiculous. The suggestion is that we stay around here and spread out, separate, do stuff on our own or with just uh, whoever we choose, be quiet for the other people so we can make recordings, do drawings or whatever. So I tried, I um, wanted to know, see if there was any sound underwater. Uh, I found that it's 
interesting when you focus on what you hear, how your attention is like jumps from one thing to another. So like all these sounds are happening at the same time. But there was like an obvious, I did it twice, like once with my eyes closed and then again with open eyes and I did like a very interesting line. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> I tried uh, try to record from different angles and different distances and I try to work very gently with uh, changing of frequency uh, with angles and it was very for me very fascinating when I was uh, putting the microphones, stereo microphones down and there was more bass sound um, and I also recorded some video and I also tried out some my own voice like a vo voiceover thing just the uh, testing without having written things but just like impro to, to test it with the same background and different distances and so on mm. <laughs>